Here are some tips for how to successfully document your work. Documenting your work isn't just about keeping a clean lab notebook or tidy notes that will take you to your next research paper or thesis. Note-taking and documenting your work is very important to keep your mind clear on what you're doing. One of the most valuable pieces of advice I've ever received came at the beginning of my doctoral studies. It was to keep track of what I was doing. Each day, I sat down and I wrote a page of every piece of work I did that day. Not only did it help me keep track of my progress, but I saw that I was making progress, which was very helpful, especially as a beginning researcher. But there are other ways that documenting your work can be helpful. After each meeting, everybody who participated, be it a meeting or a group discussion, assumes that it is clear what took place, how the tasks were divided, and who is responsible for what job afterwards. However, it might not always be the case. Everybody appreciates somebody confirming what happened, so if you would like to be very helpful to everybody who participated in your meeting or group discussion, come back to your office after the meeting, sit down, write down two paragraphs about the most important conclusions and assignments that took place during the meeting. Send them off as a confirmation and you'll make everybody's lives easier. Very soon they'll be looking forward, very much forward, to having meetings with you because they will be well documented and easy to follow. It's also very important to take consistent notes while you're discussing with people. I often see researchers taking notes left, taking notes right, taking a photo of the blackboard or the whiteboard, and these things tend to get lost. A very easy thing that you can do is simply create a special folder on your computer. This is the folder that I use for research and discussions with colleague A. This is the folder I use for colleague B, colleague C, project A, project B, project C. Share them across all your devices and you will always have access and you will never have that moment where you're wondering, why did I leave that notebook? Or the little napkin where we wrote down the equations two weeks ago during lunch. Keeping notes helps you not only to reach your goals in research, but, and this is something we all want to do, publish good papers. Making sure that you take notes from the start of a research project ensures that you use consistent notation, easily understandable and readable manner of writing things down, perhaps sketches that you can include as figures in your future papers. It's very interesting to think about how much you can do if you just took some notes and shared them with students, for example. You could spread word of your research group, of your research project, perhaps get new students to join your work. But documenting your work can also make your life much easier. Making simple to-do lists or tasks that you need to accomplish or planning for the future will keep you on track with both your work and your professional career. We all know that it's really hard to get good, prestigious positions in academia. To do so, you need to fill some requirements, have a certain number of papers published in high prestigious journals, hold talks, maybe hold some lecture classes. And if you would like to be on top of all of that, it makes it much easier if you write it out, put little check marks the moment you reach them, and it will also make you feel like you're on top of things, because you will be.